From this to this, from this to this. Thousands of years ago, wolves helped humans survive in tough conditions which killed off our cousins, the Neanderthals. Out of this partnership, dogs were born. And even today, dogs are helping humans survive and thrive just in a different way. Dogs make us happy. In fact, so happy that they used to help people with trauma, depression, anxiety and communication issues. But what is it about these four-legged, fanged and clawed, powerful creatures that most of us just can't help but be happy around them? With approximately 1 crore 2 lakh pet dogs in India, our country ranks 6th in the world in dog population. We Indians really love our pet pooches. I keep spending every week, so uh, I don't mind. It's, it's, it's not a dog, it's like a child. You're spending on your child. It's no surprise why our canine friends have such a hold over us. After all, they do have a massive superpower. The puppy dog eyes. The sad expression on our canine besties is owing to years of evolution that resulted in something called the levator muscle. These muscles allow dogs to lift up their inner eyebrow which makes their eyes look larger and by virtue of that sadder and more childlike, melting our hearts. Dogs have also been known to trigger a chemical reaction in our brains that is similar to the feeling of protectiveness and falling in love. Several studies have suggested that when dogs and humans interact, both exhibit a surge in oxytocin, a hormone linked to a happy emotional state, as well as a decrease in cortisol, the hormone associated with stress. My dog, Psycho Opal, is my parents' third child. He's a Desi Lab mix and we adopted him seven years ago. So I have been struggling with anxiety and depression and I don't think I would have gotten through it if I didn't have him, for sure. But specifically, like there were a lot of family issues, I would say, that I was having at home and he's the only one that was able to get me through it. Animal-assisted intervention has also developed as an alternate therapy practice and one such institution doing such work in India is Animal Angels Foundation. Animal-assisted therapy being a very new field here, uh, <clears throat> it started. I started back in 2003 and uh, it's been about 16 years. For those who have been pet owners at some or the other point in life, you know, those who have experienced living with a pet, or even interacting with a neighbor's pet. Uh, you would have realized that even a five or 10 minute interaction with the pet is going to make you feel good, you know, for the rest of the day. So it's a natural connection that is there. But when this natural connection and the animal's ability to impact us on our health is combined with therapeutic goals, therapeutic benefits, and also guided, guided activities by a therapist or a facilitator, that's when you uh, get the field of animal-assisted intervention. Animal-assisted intervention has been used by many people to help cope with depression, anxiety, to help children with disabilities and provide assistance to those going through trauma. A school needed uh, a dog to be trained for their school setup, right? So that school happened to be uh, a school for mentally challenged children. You know, there was a child who had not spoken anything since he had joined the school and he was labeled as non-communicative because you know after he, in spite of multiple assessments he was not you know he had no shown no signs of being able to speak but after um, a couple of sessions with Kuti once when he was playing the ball kind of just rolled away a little further Kuti picked up the ball picked up the ball and she went a little like away instead of getting the ball back she kind of ran with the ball and this child he literally spoke out Kuti in a very broken way you know he was able to say that and that was like a moment of revelation for not just me but also the teachers around who had worked with the child before because they never knew that he had that ability to speak. 
The therapeutic potential of animals has been recognized since the late 1800s, when Florence Nightingale, considered the founder of modern nursing, observed that small pets helped reduce anxiety in children and adults living in psychiatric institutions. Even today, when I work with children with autism or even uh, neurotypical children, as in normal children with uh, social issues or emotional issues who, are, who, who have this block in being able to speak in social setups. We see them transform when they work with therapy dogs. We have seen children who are not able to read out properly or they fumble while reading in a school setup. And when we take our therapy dogs and when children read out to the dogs, we see that their confidence level goes up. The dog here is completely non-judgmental. A woman had seven little boys. The seven little boys were very hungry. Having dogs in our vicinity is not good just for our mental health, but physical too. A study conducted on patients in an emergency room showed that those who spent just 10 minutes with dogs reported lower levels of pain. Several studies have also found a link between dogs and reduced risk of cardiovascular mortality, lower blood pressure levels and improved responses to stress. The fact that dog owners have to take their pooches for walks outside also helps with regular physical exercise and increased exposure to vitamin D. Uh, so I have type 1 diabetes and you know, one very common thing that we observe in type 1 diabetes is the fact that Stress is directly related to the amount of insulin that we take that helps us control the blood sugar. Um, we can very easily say the more amount, the more stressed we are, the more insulin we will need to cope up with the blood sugars. And I was just fostering the puppies, the ones that college had. I realized that my insulin requirement was going uh, down. And then uh, at that moment, I did not even know about this thing that stress has is directly relation to, you know, uh, diabetes because it was just, I think, one and a half years since I had gotten type 1 diabetes. While companionship from our furry friends is always great, sometimes the mind and, well, the heart craves human companionship as well. Dogs may just have you covered in that regard too. There have been actual studies to show that photos of people pictured with dogs were rated higher than photos of people without dogs. So adding those puppy photos to your dating profiles might actually prove to be helpful. Not just our personal lives, many office spaces are also now employing the help of dogs to boost productivity and raise employee spirits. Like with Ship Rocket and their chief happiness officer, Bruno. And he's pretty much been a part of the journey of Ship Rocket, right? He's, he's, he's part of our story like the rest of us. You come into office every morning and there's this little boundless uh, piece of energy that comes up on you. He's integrated with every part of the office, every person in the office and just having him, you know, you're having a good day, bad day, uh, something didn't go well at work, just seeing him, you know, it just, it just changes your energy, it just changes the way your day is going. When times are tough, you know, when there's a little bit of a down feeling amongst the people or a low feeling amongst all of us, I think he gets it, right? And that's when, so about four o'clock in the afternoon or five o'clock in the evening when he knows, you know, uh, things may not be going as well, he'll come and I'll have my desk on, uh, my hands on my desk and he'll come and he'll put his little face beneath my hands just to say, you know, things are okay. And I think when, you know, when things are tough, he can, he can make up the energy. Dogs are very sensitive that way. Whether they're getting pampered in doggy spas, helping on ground with search and rescue missions, a part of our protection squad or just chilling in our homes as snuggle buddies, dogs have been and will continue to be a principal part of our lives. We know they help with our mental well-being, physical health, productivity and even socialization skills. But beyond studies and research, at the core of it, what is it about these creatures that makes us so happy? They will be there for you no matter what. No matter how bad a day you had or how wonderful a day you had, you will have your furry friend. You know, they, they, they don't have a bad day. I don't think Bruno's ever had a bad day. He helps turn your bad day into a good day. And I think that's where pets make you happy. It's that unconditional love. Our default setting, we go back to them. We find solace in them, we find connection, we find it easier to connect to animals than to connect to humans. 
because of this innate social wiring if you are standing in a crowd and if there's a dog walking around and out of the entire crowd he comes to, to you, you. <laughs> that That's... that day you will feel that you have achieved everything you will also feel you are a better person because we all know that the dogs know that brings us to the end of this episode of how and why but why do you think our four legged friends make us so happy let us know in the comments below